Okay, in this example, I've got a, some data and I need to work out the mode and the median and the mean. Okay, so this data, although it's got, it looks like a table with two rows, this is effectively just a list of 14 numbers. Always a good idea to check how many data items you're supposed to be having. So the first thing I'm going to do is enter this data uh, onto a suitable calculator. So here we go. So I need to input some data in stats mode. So I need menu and stats is this symbol here, menu item six. And I've just got a list of um, a single variable. So for things like means, modes, medians, I just need to use option one to go into one variable statistics. Now, if when you get on your calculator, you do not have this frequency column, then the way to get it is to do shift setup um, and go down till you find statistics. It's there, it's option three, so I press three and I make sure that I've got frequency turned on. Okay, for this particular data, um, each item will just have a frequency of one. But now this calculator is ready to work with frequency data and non-frequency non data. So I'm going to enter each item. So I press three and I press equals. It gives that a frequency of one and I'm ready to go on to my next value, which is one and so on. And the next one is five. So I'm just going to go down the list until I've got all 14 items entered. So I've done that now and uh, it helpfully numbers the rows. So I've got up to uh, row 14, so I know I've entered 14 numbers. Um, so start looking at some calculation from those numbers. If I press AC, um, I now press the option button here and I want to do some one variable calculations. So I'm pressing two and now I get this screen. Now be very careful reading values off here. Whenever you get minuses, because there's an equals here, you can sometimes miss a minus. None of these are negative in this example, but watch out for reading these, these numbers because they're quite small. Read them carefully. So uh, the things I want to work out, I want some averages. So uh, I want a mean. Now the symbol for mean is X bar. So have I got an X bar here? Yes, the very first thing on the list is 0 0.3571. So I'm going to say X bar equals 3.57, which is okay to three significant figures. Okay, quoting more significant figures wouldn't be wrong, but we always give uh, at least three significant figures unless there's indication otherwise, even if 3.57 TV sets doesn't make sense. Uh, as, a, as a number that a natural family will have, it can still make sense as a mean. Now I can get uh, another average directly from the calculator. Press the uh, down button on the keypad here. And uh, it says med, that means the median. And it's telling me the median is four. So that's the item that if I arranged them in order and looked in the middle of the list, I would get. Okay. Uh, now the calculator doesn't tell you the mo tell me the mode, but luckily that's the, the the easiest one to spot. It's the value that appears most often. So I've got a three and a three. I can see two of them. I can see two. Oh, I can see three fours. Uh, I can't see three. I can see four fours, but I can't see uh, four of anything else. So the mode equals four because that appears four times. So that's how we do it from a list of raw data.